Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the weird lighting. We have a skylight, it's like middle of the day, but this is my chance to film. So I'm gonna take the opportunity as I have it. Uh, today I'm going to be kicking off a new like eyeshadow project for myself. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna call this yet, like colorful eyes challenge, maybe. Um, if you guys can come up with a better name, let me know down below. Uh, but my goal is, so I'm a neutral eyeshadow lover. That's not gonna change. But I want to experiment with colorful makeup a little bit more, maybe get a little bit less scared of colorful makeup. Lauren from Lauren May Beauty did a video a while back, I will throw it up in the cards and link it in the description, about like beginners kind of like suggestions of trying to try color and that really inspired me. So last year I ended up purchasing a rainbow palette for my collection. I purchased the ColourPop Fade into Hue palette and my goal for this challenge is I want to try to use every color in here two times this year. Um, so let me show you the palette. This is what it looks like. I have four that I've popped out because they were pressed glitters and I just I don't mess with pressed glitters. But I really like this palette because it has all the shades of the rainbow and it goes from light to like a more deep or like jewel tone color. There's a mix of shimmers, of mattes, mattes with glitter, like there are all sorts of different finishes in here and different undertones and shades. So I'm really looking forward to trying different shades out. Um, you know, some of these more pastel colors are easy to do like a wash of color over the lid. Um, maybe some of these dark ones I could do like some liners with, but I just want to try to use every color in here two times this year. So I'm going to do like this, you know, separate project dedicated to it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, makeup is just fun. Um, and if I put on a bright orange eyeshadow and I end up hating it, I can wash it off. I do work from home. So it's a little bit easier too that if I want to try something on a work day and it looks, you know, wacky, I can <laughs> take care of it before I like walk out into the world or anything. But yeah, that's kind of the idea and the goal of this challenge that I'm um, presenting myself. And let's talk about the structure of this. So first of all, I'm going to try my very, very best to take photos as I use these different colors in my different eye looks. Um, that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me. Sometimes I forget, but I'm gonna try really, really hard. Um, so what I've done, so I have 26 eyeshadows to work with because there was 30 in this palette, but I took the four out, so I'm down to 26. Um, and I wanna use each shade two times. So I have each shade in my spreadsheet twice. Um, and I'm going to randomly roll five eyeshadows um, with the goal to use each shade one time. Now, if I love a shade and want to use it twice, that's great. Um, and then that shade will be like considered completed for the year um, because my goal is two uses on every eyeshadow. Um, but I think randomly rolling will help me because looking at this is pretty overwhelming for me. I don't know where I'm supposed to start. I don't really want to make those decisions, so I'm going to let the, you know, randomization gods control that for me. Um, if I don't use one of the shades, like let's say I get this deep purple as an example and I don't end up using it by my next update, it'll stay in. So kind of like the pan those eyeshadows concept where like sometimes you roll things in, sometimes you roll things out. Um, but my goal is going to be to use each shade one time, then it can roll out but it can roll back in um, because I have every shade twice. So hopefully that makes sense. I think as we go like this video and the next one, it'll start to make more sense. Um, so I'm going to put in my pretty random app one through 52 because that is the um, order, you know, like the totals I have in my spreadsheet. And we're gonna randomly roll five shades and see what we get. So here we go. We got uh, 19. 7, 11, 30, and 6. I think that's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. So give me just a moment to figure out what those shades are, and then we're going to talk through them and swatch them all and see what I get. I'm a little bit nervous. All right, so I have all of the names written down, but I haven't looked in the palette yet. I thought maybe you would love to see the reaction. So number 19 is the shade called Pose. Um, oh, okay, I've used this one before. So it's a shimmery kind of like lemony lime green right here. This is Pose and I'll give you a swatch. 
This one's a little bit like crumbly and chunky, so that's it on the finger. I have used this one before. Um, this rolled into my eyeshadow roulette last year when I was doing that, so it's a very like high shimmer, um, lemon lime, like if, I don't know, like if marketing wanted to use this color for Sprite, it would make total sense for me. Um, but that's it there. I think I could probably use this all over my lid. Um, it does come off a little bit more yellow than green in some light. So that one doesn't scare me too much. Um, but let's see what the next one is. The next one I got is the shade called Designer. So let's see. Oh, it's the one right above Pose. So it's this kind of like, it's a matte with glitter in it. This one right here. Um, and this is like a lighter version of that. So let's get, ooh, neon. Oh, this is like alien yellow green. <laughs> I don't even know if it's showing on camera as vibrant as it looks to my eyes here, but that is vibrant. I could see using that like in the crease maybe, like a blown out crease look. Um, hmm, maybe lower lash line. I worry that that might make me look sickly. We'll see. So two from the green column so far. Let's see what we got next. Number 11 was the shade Haute. Um, let's see here. It's another green, oh my gosh. Okay, we are going green. So Haute is this kind of like shimmery, I would call that like an emerald shamrock green right here. So let's get that one swatched. I believe I've used this one before too. Um, all right, so there it is. That one I could see all over the lid as well. Um, maybe with like a brown crease or something like that. That one's not too bad. Um, it does have a nice shimmer to it as I kind of reflect it. I'm really hoping that this picks up accurately. I'll take a photo of my hand too in case that it shows up weird on the camera. Okay. Number 30 is Big Smile. Let's pray for not a green. Um, okay. It's a yellow. So it's this one right here. And this is um, kind of like that matte with the glitter in it too. Doesn't look like I've used this one before. Maybe I've just watched it, but like not a huge amount of use. So that's it there. It's like smiley face yellow. It actually is pretty similar to designer. Look at that. So the tone's a little bit different. I could see this one being used in the crease. I could see using that one like with oranges or like a more warm brown and this could help kind of um, bring that warmth to it. I am so surprised by the color story I have right now. Like of this whole rainbow palette, I have greens and yellows. Okay, we have one more and it's the shade called Bonus Points. Oh my gosh, it's a yellow. Okay, so it's a matte, like a true matte yellow right here. It's kind of like a canary yellow. I can't believe I have all yellows and greens. Like, I seriously thought I'd have, like, maybe one from every color area. I did not expect I was going to get <laughs> all of the same story. Oh, well, that's how it goes. So that is it down there on my wrist. I'm just, I'm still baffled that this is what I what the heck? Okay, so this one, again, I could see using in the crease. It's got a little bit more orange to it, so I think that using a warm brown with it would pair nicely. Um, none of these I think I want to use as a liner. Um, they're not, like, really deep enough for that. I think mostly is going to be the lid or the crease shade. So, that's it, again, and I'll take a photo of my hand in um, like window, you know, sunlight type thing so we can get another accurate representation. Um, what I'm going to do here quickly is actually pop out the shades that I rolled in to put in my little Z palette. So let me do that quick so I can show you them all next to each other. Okay, so I have them all in my little Z palette. I just, this is, I did not expect it to go this way, but there they all are. So my goal is to use each of these one time 
in order to roll them out. If I really love one and I want to use it a second time, that's okay too. Um, I just won't be able to re-roll the shade in later in the year. Um, <clears throat> and for each of these, by the way, when I pop these out, I just use a little like pin, like a sewing pin, um, and you go against the corner of the pan and just pop it out because these are all held in with magnet. Um, and then on the back of them, I use these little sticker um, circles and I just write um, the shade name and then quickly like I put CP FN for fade into hue um, to label on the back of them so I know where they will all go and everything. But yeah, that is the color story for this month. It's very like March appropriate, I would say with St. Patrick's Day and everything, but um, you know, we're gonna give it a whirl. We will see how this works out. I'm hoping if I can use three to four of them before my next update. That would be really great. I plan to update this video um, once a month towards the end of the month, just because I have a lot of series and stuff I do at the beginning and end of the month. So around like between, I don't know, the 18th and 22nd or so, you should see this video come up for me. But yeah, this is what I'm working with. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. Wish me luck. How would you use these shades? Tell me in the comments below. Um, let me just pop in a photo of what these look like in the um, like window light here. And um, yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and are excited to see me um, conquer my fear of colored eyeshadow. Uh, hopefully this works out and I learn to love color a little bit more. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.